Talmor, Jeshin Mugachi. Talmor is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My gran says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Alexis Ohanian. You may know me as one of the co-founders of Reddit, but more recently, a large part of my identity is being a father to my wonderful daughters. In my podcast, Business Dad, I hope to open the conversation about working parents a bit. You'll get to hear from a wide range of business dads, from Rain Wilson and Guy Raz to Todd Carmichael and Shane Battier, to find out how they balance being a dad with a successful career. Business Dad is available now, so be sure to listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. The Toddcast Podcast. Find us on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and at toddhancock.ca. Don't be afraid to get cozy. Come on in. Welcome. Welcome. Don't, don't worry about the people behind you. It's what it is because it's a tight space. And... Hey, oh. This is so weird sitting and everyone else is standing. No, right. I, know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, I was going to sit, but I'm going to make it as awkward as possible for the band as well. So I'm not even going to sit. Thanks, Fuck that. Standing the whole time, too. All right, so uh, yeah, thanks for coming out and supporting another uh, Toddcast podcast and the uh, Blue Light Sessions, the Blue Light Studio here in East Vancouver. Woo! We have, ladies Woo! and gentlemen, Woo! Spendo! Woo! We have three quarters of Spendo. So yeah, so uh, so for the people that aren't here that are eventually going to listen to this podcast and watch the video and stuff on YouTube, so Spencer, walk us through, like literally when you said what you were about to tell us, I thought you were kidding, and like, it's not kidding. Yeah, so it was about, um, let's say, 45 minutes ago, we found out that our drummer, um, who just went home to, who lives right down the street, um, he was taking some of his gear back uh, with his parents, who had come to the show, and somehow on the way home, he had an anaphylactic experience, and he's in the hospital right now, uh, taken by the paramedics um, because his throat started swelling shut and he couldn't breathe. So right. I would just like to just take a minute and say that Trevor is going to be okay. Uh, I just heard from his girlfriend that uh, he's in the hospital right now. They're monitoring him. But That's a good thing. Yes. Good yeah. I want to apologize that the show is going to be significantly different, and at this point, we are absolutely winging it. So um, well, that's good because so so am I. So yeah, all around. Yeah. All so it. I I know that you guys pay tickets for a, a rock show, but it's going to be a little bit different than that. And I uh, I hope you still walk out uh, tonight feeling like you got your money's worth. So. Thank you. I think we'll be all right. We've got a, we got a pretty cool evening stored, uh, you know, despite of everything that's kind of gone on in the last 45 minutes. Yeah, I think so. We, we, uh, now that I know Trevor is uh, going to be okay, um, that he's uh, in professional help in the hospital, I feel better. But I was sick to my stomach, feeling like I'm going to have to yeah. put on a performance knowing that my bandmate, our best friend, is potentially, I don't know. So, but he's fine. He's fine, and so we're going to have some fun here now. Right. Uh, he's in good hands, and so, yeah, let loose. All right, so have some drinks. Spencer, walk us through the band you have tonight for us and the acoustic <laughs> performance we're going to watch tonight. Okay, so beside me on my left is my, uh, my, my left-hand man, Kyle Stegan. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Love you, Kyle. He, uh, you, he will be laying down many of the backing harmonies that you hear tonight. And, uh, yes. Some are Trevor's, at, which I have not heard, so just, you know, bear with me here. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it, uh, this is going to be a good experience, uh, putting us to the absolute test. So, of course it is. On my far right, uh, Bradley James Lambert, who, yep. lead guitar. And, uh, 
many guitars, I should say. He's still gonna stick to his guns and play every single one of them. So, nice. yeah. Hey, when you get right? ready for it, why not, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, the 12 string, the dynamics of that one, we might have to dial back a little bit, but we'll make it work, right, Brad? That's uh, the cover of. Do, is, is that the cover of uh, a Zeppelin song, or what's what's going on with this double no, neck over here? Discount I see. All right. All right. All right. And uh, if everybody could just give a round of applause to Adam Wozniak for sitting in on percussion tonight. He's literally had half an hour's notice with zero Seriously. rehearsals. So he thought he was just going to come hang out and have a nice time. And now yeah. he's, uh, Quite literally. Yeah. We're just going to we're going to quickly run through a few songs with with our buddy Adam, who is a keyboardist, that's going to bang away on these cojones for us uh, for tonight, and hopefully we, uh, yeah. Yeah. A little, little nervous? <laughs> he says, God willing. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. No, well, it, it is fortunate because um, we've actually been super busy in the last uh, like few weeks with demoing because we're about to get into the studio next week with our producer, Danny Craig. That's right. Yeah. Uh, from De uh, Default. Yeah. And um, so it's just fortunate because Adam, who's been playing keys with us for the last few months, um, He's been working on the, the demos, so, uh, so he, so he yeah. gets it. He, has our, he knows where the song's going. And he, yeah. Sure. And, and Adam was coming for you know, a night off to have some fun, and now he's sitting in to be the percussionist. So. Right. Well, good luck, Adam. And I know that you, you won't be able to help it, Adam. You're going to sing some harmonies here and there, right? <laughs> Yeah, okay, we got, we'll ask everybody else for a little bit of help too. If you know the song, sing along. Guess, Absolutely, right? sure, yeah. and so, you know what? It's like it's a tight community in here tonight. We're gonna have some fun. Let loose, nice. you know. Let those hips move, yeah. feet tap. Yeah, man. I've fingers looking, clap. I've been looking forward to this night. I mean, you and I talked about this probably a couple of months ago. I think probably right oh, before yeah. we talked uh, about you doing the stuff you did with BCIT. Yes. Yeah. These guys, if you didn't know, I'm uh, one of the instructors of the arts uh, and entertainment course for BCIT, the radio course. We had these guys come in and they did basically this with, uh, with students and stuff. It was such a really cool performance and such a, a great uh, response to what you guys did that almost a no-brainer for me to kind of pick up where those kids left off. Well, thanks, Todd. Almost, right? That was a lot of fun. That was fun. It was yeah, fun, yeah. It was a good experience. So what did you guys want to start us off with tonight? I mean, I know you had a bit of a set list kind of in mind, but uh, yeah. you know, curveball aside, what are you thinking to, to get things rolling tonight? Well, we'll just, uh, we're, we uh, released a, a song almost a year ago now in December. Um, it's called Fighter. It's on Spotify. Yeah, great song. Some of you great might song. know it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do a bit of a different approach to it. And... Uh, it features Bradley on the 12-string, um, Mr. Wozniak here on the cajon, Kyle's going to be playing bass, and yeah, me on acoustic, so. Spencer Tomlinson, everybody. Yeah. Give it up. Right on, Spencer. Thanks. All right, it's another Toddcast podcast, Blue Light Sessions here at East Vancouver, the Blue Light Studio. All right. One, two, one, two, three, four. Stay now. 
lifestyle I don't just get involved with others, no And if you take me for granted Don't be surprised if I don't stay That's awesome, man. There's a bit of a Foo Fighter thing going on here, too. So, Spencer, I'm going to let you kind of fill the people in on why that would be there a bit of a Foo Fighter thing going on here, jumping from drums to fronting a band. And how tricky was that for you to, to do that? Um, to be honest, it, was, uh, it, it wasn't even really that tricky because it's very natural for me. Um, where, so, so you're always just kind of playing noodle on the the guitar and kind of singing and yeah, and like that? just for context, I did play in a touring band for a few years, um, where I was the drummer and backup vocalist. Very but, good drummer. Thank yeah. you, Kyle. Crushing drummer. Um, thank yeah. you. A killer and, musician. Thank you. Um, appreciate that. Um, but when that band kind of. We went on a hiatus. We lost our uh, guitar player to mental health, and um, kind of a sad situation. We had spent so many years and so much money investing into something, and then just to see it basically crumple sure. um, wow. was super sad. But at the same time, I had this this that I would had in my brain. I just I wasn't able to focus on it because I was in the band playing drums. So. So you weren't doing this on the side. It's just kind of like once that kind of dissolved, for lack of better words, you're like, all right, maybe I can move that project forward. Well, yeah, it was kind of things, you know, how show businesses, things get booked months in advance. So you got to see it through. So the writing was on the wall. The band was, uh, and that was the lyrics in that song. Oh, damn. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, but the, yeah, the writing was literally on the wall as far as the band was going to come to an end. Dave Gorman from Aviator Shades, that was a band, Aviator Shades, and I had already talked about it was going to come to an end. So I had known, and the album that's on uh, Spotify now called Waiting for Years was actually an experiment that wasn't actually going to get released. It was me playing all the instruments um, just to see if it would sound good and what I could do. And basically, the more people I showed, the more people got involved. And then that's because of that EP or album is how I met these guys and started down this path. So when Aviator Shades basically came to an end, it was that Spendo, the project that I'd been R grafting. Originally Spendo on the Skins. It was originally Spendo on the Skins, which um, I had very many people say spend on the four skins because like, there right. was four of us, so, and so it was like, fine. Yeah, Spendo works. Yeah, it's so let's mouthful. just keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple for everybody. A, sure. a mouthful of four yeah. skins. <laughs> right. Yeah. Nice. 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 But uh, yeah, interesting to think of that. Like for for locally, for the, you know everybody that's here in the studio, but also people that are going to hear it after we release this podcast. Interesting to see the correlation between. You know, a huge band like Foo Fighters, I mean, essentially that's what's happened. You've gone from a band that's done relatively well to you're fronting this band that's doing even better than what the band before was doing. Well, very cool, you. man. I think that's very cool, personally. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's, uh, it's been a hell of a ride. And, sure it has been, yeah. Um, I got to say, my girlfriend here to you has been very uh, supportive in, you know, keeping, the, keeping this journey going because it's easy to give up on dreams especially during a pandemic yeah, right. and uh yeah just yeah we'll, we'll we'll talk a little bit about the pandemic and all that and like kind of how that yeah. kind of side railed you and even if else, we don't talk about it that's cool it, with me because <laughs> I, mean, I would personally i would like to hear that but i would love yeah. to hear another song as well so not that i'm trying to steer hey. but it is my interview so fuck let's hear another song <laughs> so uh yeah we'll get into the, the covid stuff because man that's kind of like that's that's one of those like 
that's a that's a natural born killer for a lack of better words straight mm -hmm. up like, yeah that's killing bands that's killing venues that's killing like people, people and everything sure, we'll talk about that but uh, yeah. what did you want to get into now now that you know adam's now like oh, I'm kg vet on this cajon I'm, I'm ready to go so <laughs> You did a great job, by the way. The uh, nice, nice backing vocals at the very end of that the first song. So um, yeah, what you what you want to play? And interesting because you and I kind of had a little bit of a conversation the, the other day about how this is going to flow and like playing mm -hmm. cover songs and the songs you're going to do and the set lists and all that. Well, of course that's going out the window. So like, oh, everything's gone out the window. You are now steering this ship, Captain. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I hope I take us so, all to a so safe please. journey. Um, <laughs> Guide us to the next event. Any so, point in a storm, right? <laughs> yeah, um, basically, long story short, I know we've, we've uh, you guys have come here to see a show, but also with, with the, the, the podcast, but um, I don't want to talk too much, but the first set was going to be this, um, more or less, where Trevor was going to be where Adam is now, and... Uh, we had four songs with the cameras and a, a whole bunch of uh, plans for content that was gonna basically be our next few months. Um, so which, you gotta find somebody that's really good at uh, uh, superimposing Trevor's head over top of <laughs> yeah. Adam. Is yeah. That, is that what you're asking me for right now? <laughs> well, I don't even know what's gonna happen now, but it, uh, it's probably all just gonna be for, uh, maybe we'll release it, who knows, but thank you guys for still filming. Um, yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, like, as much as this has been a total like, um, like curveball to Todd and his interview and questions, but it's just been as much to it's all like, around for everybody. Yeah. yeah so yeah. We'll, when I release this, we'll call it the curveball sessions. Exactly. I like it. And uh, yeah, and Trevor's gonna hopefully have a good laugh out of it. Yeah. Um, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it'll be okay. But we, anyway, we were gonna do this kind of acoustic session um, for four songs, and, and then we were gonna get more uh, electric and and play another set. But we're thinking just for simplicity's sake and not getting it too noisy in here. We're gonna stick to this and yeah. try and keep it as uh, yeah as musical and not noisy as possible, <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> if that makes sense. But I think for this. We're going to play um, one from that EP that I was talking about that got us all here together. So it's called Alone.
believe it worked. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank man. you. Great yeah. stuff. Uh, Give it up for yeah. Adam again, guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Adam, you're killing it, buddy. Lifesaver. Keeping it together. <laughs> so as, uh, as we're kind of just you know trudging along here, we're literally going at the flow of things at this point. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering for, and I want to know for each of the guys in the band tonight, what is the music in your house as a kid growing up? Like, what is the, what are you being exposed to? What are your parents playing and stuff? Uh, like, how do you get to where you are today? Well, for me, it was a lot of just like classic rock. Yeah, um, of course. Almond Brothers, like Tom Petty, uh, Eagles, you know. That, that kind of vibe. Sure. Some Skinner. Yeah, yep. a lot of Skinner. Yep. Kyle? Uh, I vividly remember a lot of UB40, like crazy <laughs> oh. reggae mixes. And uh, you know what? That was cool with me. <laughs> nice. Right. Cool. Is that we are high right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Bradley? <laughs> uh, ACDC and a little bit more ACDC. No, oh, yeah, it's a little bit of that, is there? Oh, yeah. 70 stuff. Yep. Um, Remember, like me and the old man would sit back and this is like when YouTube first came out. We would watch like all the midnight special videos, so sure. old footage of UFO. Um, there's so many bands, but yeah, yeah. yeah, I went through Dad's CD collection for. I'm still going through it. So. Yeah, yeah. Where is he? Right. Where is he? It's great. It's cool to have a cool yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I think Garrett's having to smoke, isn't oh, yeah. he? So that's, yeah, he's probably. That's how you travel down that road. Yeah, how about, no, no, it's just Dad's CD collection. Mr. Shutter. You know? yeah, fair enough. Country in there as well too. So. Yeah. But actual, but actual country, yeah. Not like this, you know. We're prefab stuff that's going on right now, for sure. No, anything really with good guitar was sort of getting played in the house growing up, and yep. just like talking how to play guitar growing up. So that was basically my interest. Right. Seventies mostly, mostly seventies yeah. stuff. And what? Bradley, there, is, Gary, there is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I remember the smoke out there, hey. So, uh, so what was he, what was he teaching you to play? Like initially out of the gate, what were you learning how to play? Yeah, well, just a lot of ACDC, you know. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, everyone's seen my fucking collection of SGs, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gone. It's, yeah, we've seen the uh, 17 there. guitars you brought for tonight's performance yeah. of 14 songs, so yeah. yeah. We got that. We're aware of that. <laughs> yeah, no, That's Brad in a nutshell. <laughs> right. And how about uh, how about you, Adam? Grab that mic and uh, and walk us through, uh, you know, as the uh, you know lead percussionist of tonight's program. Yeah. <laughs> What, what were you uh, What were you growing up with? A lot of James Taylor as a young man, okay. as a young child, yep. and then uh, a lot of Joni Mitchell from my mother's side. Okay. And then probably at around eight or nine, I had access to my dad's record collection, which included a lot of you know. Some That's yeah. where you started to get into that. Standard okay. stuff, and then sure. uh, later on, getting into a sort of progressive rock, Genesis, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. So okay. Yeah. 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 And then. Just Great stuff, yeah. And, and, and how are you feeling tonight about jumping over from keys to to driving these guys in the in the percussion? Like, yeah, it'd be all right tonight. Honestly, you might shoot your pants a little bit, but uh, you know, it depends on how things go. It'll be okay. You'll be, right. be all right. Honestly, be okay. Adam is an incredible multi. You, you can tell he's already he's well into where he should be tonight. Yeah. Yeah, and if like as a shout out to uh, anybody, check out. Uh, Wozniak on Spotify or Solitaire. Uh, Wozniak in the relation to the John Wozniak of uh, uh, Mushroom Studio, Wozniak? Uh, I don't know. Is he um, W A Z O N E K? Ooh, I'm not sure that Wozniak. It's not a very common You know, name. know who I'm talking about, John Wozniak of uh, Marcy's Playground I, and all yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. He's heard. on uh, Mushroom Studio here in yeah. Vancouver. Yeah, I smell sex I, and candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I think that's uh, uh, I A K on Wozniak on John, but. Uh, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say that John <laughs> Wozniak is of my Marcy's Playground, but, uh, you know, you take you take the ball and run with it if you like. That's fine. <laughs> all right, so. Right. So, uh, continue with more tunes. What, what would you like to? Would you like to plow through tonight? Yeah. Well, this one. Uh, this is actually going to be one that we will be releasing as a ve uh, single very soon. Um, oh, nice. Uh, okay. Tonight's footage was actually going to be. I know that you and I talked about. Yeah. Like, let's make this the song. And, yeah. yeah. So tonight's footage was going to be the visuals for the release, um, which. Still could be. Still could be. We'll see. We'll see how how well we don't suck. You know the interesting thing, maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe how about this? If you want to 
take some shots and video of, of the, the guys tonight, send it in to me through the Toddcast podcast, through whatever it is, of Facebook and Instagram and, and mm -hmm. everything else we've got. Send it to me and I'll, and I'll, and I'll see if maybe we can include that footage in the finished product. And then we'll have like 20, 30 different camera angles kind of thing. That would be, that would be super cool, yeah. And I'm sure the owners of the Blue Light Studio right now with the sessions are like, really? <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> We're gonna do like 20 different cameras, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape and see, if, you know, maybe we can get it into that final product. Yeah, well, I mean, anything at this point, like, we, uh, yeah, tomorrow will be a good day to um, decide what we're gonna do, because yeah. as of right now, I don't know what we're gonna do. But yeah, yeah. That doesn't matter, we're just here to have <laughs> fun enough. and play some music, and for you guys to enjoy some drinks and some live music. And nice. Yeah. All right, this, well, record if you want to. If you do record, shoot it over to the Talkcast podcast, and. And we'll see if we can get it recorded uh, into the actual finished product of what we're doing here tonight. Yeah. It's so about getting into, the, getting into the next song, you know? One yeah. song at a time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this one's called Gone and Glad. And it, uh, it's got Bradley on the dobro. Uh, shout out to Chris Russell for lending it to us. Uh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, yeah. buddy. Nice. All right. Okay.
Thank you very much. Nice one. So that's the next single, should everything have happen as it should. That's the next thing we'll hear from Spendo. Yep. On radio and college radio and everything else. Yeah, we've got it fully recorded and, and stuff with, uh, with Danny Craig. And Fantastic. Which, which features uh, Adam on keys. So like you're saying, he, yeah, so he yeah. knows the songs. Thankfully. He knows He's the here. songs, yeah. Sure. Just not as a percussionist at this point. And so, and so um, talk about working with Danny Craig. Danny Craig, of course, is the drummer of Default, the local band that did really well in the early uh, 2000s here in Vancouver and like, literally attacked the world stage and stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you take from working with a guy like Danny Craig, and how do you press that forward with your career? Uh, well, he's just got a great ear. And, and I mean, he worked with Chad Kruger for many years. Still does, I think, to this day, doesn't he? Uh, I think he does. I, they haven't, they haven't for done... for a while, but... Yeah, he, I mean, sure. still not, in the contact. That bridge is not done. No, no, yeah. for sure. But, uh, but Chad Kruger actually uh, produced one of their albums. So, like, sure, worked, first really, yeah. Yeah, worked sure. really close with him. So, um, so, I mean, Chad's got a, an incredible... Everybody knows Nickelback. I mean, Sure, he's got a crazy ear and... I yeah, mean, he, that guy's written songs for like Faith Hill and you like name it. Big, yeah. big recording artists. It's not just Nickelback. That guy's freaking massive. Yeah, well, he was grossed uh, the number one most paid songwriter in Canada. Sure. He he surpassed Justin Bieber and yeah. you know you name it. It's not a surprise um, really when you think he, about it. Yeah. Yeah, and he's right here local. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, because of uh, Danny working with Chad and just you know. He's just got so many, so many tricks up his sleeve. So right, you're like, oh, you're just stuck at this guy. Like, oh, no, no, try this instead, and like, this exactly. might sound cool here, and like, rearrange that, and like, take it out out. And yeah, and he's brutally honest. So when, well, when that's what you want, though. You don't want somebody to be like, yeah, let's go, and they're like, oh, I really feel like we're not getting what we need to get out of this recording thing. No, exactly, and that's why it puts us. You know, sometimes we're wondering, like, oh, does he hear it? Is, right. is, this, is this not what we were thinking? And then. Once you listen to it back, it's like, okay, shit, yeah, he was right. Yes, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, you know, it was, it, uh, when, you, when you pay for a producer, it's much like when you pay for a contractor. It's like you're, you're paying for the proper experience and understanding, and everything goes smoothly, and by the end of it, it's a well-crafted product. And, uh, and so Danny's one of the best. And, yes, locally, yeah. he is, like, hands down one of the best. Yeah. You know? Not one of those guys that's gonna, you know, just try to get the project done. Like he wants it done as good as it can be, and if we're not ready for something, he'll tell us. Like he's, like especially, he's brutally honest. So yeah. it's good that um, he has our back for making sure the product's gonna be as best as possible. But um, I'm really excited to drop this single because it's got a, it's got a cool vibe. Yeah, and um, for sure it does. Yeah, it's got like a bit of a southerny, as you could hear from that, um, with Bradley on the lap steel. It, uh, because he actually uses a lap steel in the in the recording. Okay. Um, so, like, you envisioning a, a spendo full length in the next like year or so, or what are you, we what are you we'll probably do an EP um, in the spring. Yeah. We uh, by probably I'm pretty much. <laughs> You're like yes, it's coming. I, I just can't give the yeah, date. we're <laughs> yeah we can't yeah. say the date, but that's Fair what's enough. happening. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. then the shows we, in like January, February. You've got a date for us, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, um, but we've got so much. We're sitting on so much content just from over the last three years of being together. Uh, we do have an album basically written after the EP. So we've got a lot of music that we're sitting on and we're so excited to just get going and yeah. um, tonight nice. was going to be a big night to showcase some stuff so um, still do a little bit of that we'll still right? do like, some but yeah a little it, bit of yeah. It's, a, it's a bit of a different taste oh for sure yeah from um, what you and I talked about and yeah yeah now it's playing out tonight but thank you guys for yeah, bearing with yeah. us thank and, you for coming and, out yeah. and, and hanging it's out a great, great night overall like you know you think like it's a you know, it's a, the Saturday of Halloween, and, yeah. and there's a lot of people doing a lot of other shit, and like there's other things that people could be at, and they're here tonight with us. So absolutely, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, thank you. I don't take yeah. that lightly either, man. Like no, that's absolutely. the way it is, right? Cool. So we got Han Solo just. MCing right now. I know, right? Like, like, Captain on Solo. Is, 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 is that a gun in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? It's, uh, it's over here, but uh, oh, shit. You know, if I just <laughs> slip this in right now, we'll be all right. <laughs> Are you hot in that jacket, Mr. I'm fucking bacon in this <laughs> yeah, jacket. that is crazy, man. What? Yeah. And the boots and everything. Yes, I am. Um, Can you steal it? You, well, 
What's going on? Push it over to you. Yeah. I need some of that. I see what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, boys. I don't know if your amp was actually on for that last song. Oh, I haven't turned it off. So. Yeah. No, it's cool. Yeah. 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 It was cool. Yeah. We're all good. We're all good there. Yeah. So what do you what do you think of next there, Spencer? What's going on in your world? What are you what's okay, going well, through your mind? And, is, and by the way, P.S. Are we still doing some covers, even though now we're throwing well, Adam that's into what the I was, mix? I like, was just gonna say. So this is what the kind of like the early climax was gonna be, um, <laughs> if you if you wanna <laughs> put it that way. Um, yeah, Adam was like, "Fucking great, cool." Also yeah. a cover song, perfect. Yeah. And so this is gonna be. I have no idea how it's gonna go, but uh, it heavily relied on Trevor's backup vocals, but. Kyle's gonna step in, so. Yep, Kyle's ready. Look at him. He's ready for it. You got this, Kyle. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll and see, we'll see. Uh, and it's a song you guys all know, and it actually has to do with my Halloween costume, which I. Come I, on, that's I, Shannon of Blind Melon. Come I, I, on. I, yeah, I, we all know I, I was that, going right? as Blind Blind Melon's frontman Shannon Hoon. Um, it's dead on. Every single so, day, though. Every single day, you it, know out it's him. It, it just <laughs> happens that I look like him, and Absolutely I get it a nailed lot. it tonight. <laughs> so we are going to do this just kind of like to sink into that. But um, Nice. You guys probably know this one. Let me just tune out of that, that other tuning that I was just in, because that could have been catastrophic. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then it really wouldn't have sounded like Blind Melon. <laughs> Flare jeans are a nice touch for the uh, ship. From behind you, it is. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> It is amazing when you get a, a group of people in a little room, how warm it gets oh, yeah. Yeah, so quickly. And you guys are all in jackets. Can Poor I souls. Can through the mains, please? Not. Hey, uh, Kai, is there, there any go. way we there can get... Is it now? I get it. I get her now, yeah. Hey, Kai? It's Kai, through, yeah. Kai! Kai to the rescue. Okay, oh, yeah. Is it coming through? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, it's okay. uh, Blue Light Sessions, Toddcast Podcast here at Blue Light Studio, East Vancouver. Thanks, boys. And uh, feel free to sing along if you know this one. And snap your fingers. Yeah. One, two, one, two. <laughs>
Mango covering Blind Melon here tonight. Blue Light Studio, Toddcast Podcast. Guys, thank you for coming and, uh, you know, the crazy curveball that you had an hour and a half ago. Thanks. Thank Tom. you for coming and supporting the live music here in Vancouver. We'll take a quick 15. 15 sounds good. And yeah. come back and pound out another set and see what you guys got, uh, got in mind for the next one. So Yeah, we got some fun stuff coming up. Thank so. you for coming. Right on. Okay, so we're uh, into the second part of, of, of an interesting night with Spendo here at the Toddcast Podcast and Blue Light Studio, Blue Light Sessions. And by the way, uh, a few people had asked me, hey, can we ask questions? Of course, yeah. Like, literally interrupt me. If you oh. want to ask the band questions, fire away. We're I'm just trying to orchestrate the madness today. Oh, we're, at, we're at the point of anything goes, people. Anything <laughs> right. goes. Right. <laughs> yeah. You got yeah. an idea? Let's you hear mind it. if I play drums on the next song, man? Or... Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of which, does anybody have a question for the band before I fire in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. hit it. Of course, yeah. Ooh, uh, good question. Are we going to see Spendo Spencer playing drums in an upcoming musical event? Absolutely. But tonight, I don't think that we are well equipped enough for that to happen tonight. It was going to happen tonight. Um, unfortunately, uh, the man that was going to be sitting here is in a hospital bed in St. Paul's. But uh, I guess, Brad, can we announce the next show? I think you should. So, it's, yeah, it's for it. <laughs> okay, well, you, you announce it because you were the, the one who spearheaded it. Okay, so, so we made buddies with the BC guy in the summer team, summer team, summertime. Uh, <laughs> the local legend, Daniel Wesley, we played with him in Sick and Yeah, uh, yeah. Danny Boy. A uh, buddy of mine's putting some shows together at the Hard Rock Casino, and I said uh, Daniel's booking his own private shows. and kind of put my brain with his brain and their brain. And yeah. Anyways, we're playing the Seafox Christmas Bash at the Hard Rock with Daddy. Nice. December 16th. There you go. So... There you go. I, I know that kind of crosses some uh, no, not at all, man. some no, paths with you no, no, no. No, of and Fox, but cr crosses paths with me. Like I, you know, I was on air with those guys from '99 through oh, uh, 14. But I, what I like is that you know it also shows of the intimacy of tonight's show, to, and 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 the uniqueness of what we're doing here tonight, especially considering everything of what's going on with your drummer. Oh, we are and, super vulnerable. Right? Like, <laughs> we're, we're at that, like, super, super unique show that you'll literally, I'm not trying to pump this up, but straight up, guys, we're fucking never going to forget tonight. I will never forget tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> I right? don't even, you can't it, script it's one this of those, shit. Yeah, it's one of those shows where like, no, 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 no. No, we're not like kidding, and the drummer's gonna like bash through the black, you know. Here we you know, the, 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 you know, are. Ah, let's go. I it, have a it, picture it, of Trevor that I just received on the phone of him in the hospital bed. Yeah, it really has been an interesting night. He's got like tubes yeah. up his nose and everything. It's the yeah. whole deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's all his lips. And his right. eyes are all swollen. That's probably unrelated. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, cheers, Trevor. Yeah, cheers to Trevor. Right yeah. on. Good call. Good call. Cheers to Trevor. Boys one. Yeah. Shit, we should have filmed that. All right, boys. Oh. Collect yourselves. I think we did. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> there happens to be two 4K cameras. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We did get Filming. It. We got the shot. We got yeah. the shot. What are you hitting us with uh, okay. to start the second set oh, of this Toddcast? Okay. okay, so this was going to be the electric set, which is still the acoustic set, which is still... Yeah. And ultimately, the song like, title. It, it, is, is this how you're writing the song? It's not like you're like always picking it up an electric. Sometimes it's an acoustic and like it's not a, that unfamiliar, I guess, is what I'm saying. Uh, it, uh, yeah, we've never done this version of it this way before. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Okay, all right. And the song is called Great Unknown. <laughs> yeah. And that is just ironic. Right. <laughs> Good fitting song for the Great Unknown. Yeah, so. We're gonna just. What is? What, is it my acoustic? What is that? It's definitely not me because I'm my volume. Now. Yeah. Is it my acoustic? Yeah. That was totally my acoustic. Oh no. Front man. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I fixed it. 
Okay. Okay, here we go. This is where it's going to get real interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I almost wonder if I should uh, not be on the acoustic if it's feeding back like that. Nice. What's that? I know. It's actually broken off. Inside. Oh, it's stuck in. Oh. Probably good. Unique. Okay, it's called the Great Unknown. Let's, let's, let's see what we can do here, boys. So you want to count me in, or what's going to happen here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. rocking drums in the background. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Amazing. No, I'm like great. amazing to think the to the adversity that you guys are rolling through tonight. It really is um, it is quite extraordinary what we're witnessing tonight. Thanks. Tom. Knowing that that song you're thinking in your mind as you're practicing with your band, it's full on electric and it's not what we're hearing this right now. This is full improvisation. We've <laughs> <laughs> never, never really, played this on acoustic ever. It really is cool. It wasn't written on a computer. Yeah, really, it really is cool. Let, let's rip through the band and find the first concerts of each of you guys. What, what was the first show you saw with your parents, and, and what do you specifically remember of that day? Well, let, let's start. Uh, with you oh, remember? Dude, I got to get Yeah, one. good call. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, my mom, so this is Kyle talking right, right here. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom took me to Carlos Santana for my first show ever. Woo! 
Yeah, yeah right. Annalise. Yep. Not a bad, mm. not a bad call. But we yep. had to bail early. I was getting tired, and like the whole, <laughs> what was it? That place. Uh, yeah, How the old whole are you? place smelled like weed. I don't know, like twelve. Yeah, that's terrible. And that's I was like, terrible. I was like, what is that smell? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was a cool show. Santana. Nice. Yeah, hell yeah. What a, what a bar set, right? Yeah, I mean, I. It was of course no amazing idea. show. Yeah. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. I had no idea what to expect, but it was awesome. Yeah, that is yeah, cool. That's a good one. The the first show I saw, I think I was about four. Rafi. Yeah, yeah. Banana yeah. phone. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I just saw that he was playing Queen Elizabeth. I just got like a sponsored ad on my sure, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I go see him again? I saw, like... I saw him when I was four, yeah. But... Oh, I thought you were like four and you're like, oh, he's playing Queen E. I no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> I saw it in Victoria when, where I lived. But um, the first concert that my dad took me to when I was 13, almost the same age as you, was Billy Talent. Yeah. Where was that? And that shook me up. No, of course <laughs> it did. Because you knew them, you wanted to go. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I took a. Uh, I lived in Kamloops at the time with my mom. My parents had split, and my dad uh, still lives in Victoria. And uh, he put me on a uh, red eye. And I, like the red eye buses, the Greyhound oh. buses. Yeah, the red, high, yeah, yeah, red yeah. eye buses. And uh, at 13, by myself on a red eye. This was before Buddy got his head yeah. taken off. Sure. Yeah. This is, we won't go down that. Always a bit of a game changer when you're like, whoa, what? That shit happens on buses? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. So that was, what? Be that was before that. Otherwise, my dad sure. probably wouldn't have done that. He only said that because it's Halloween. Otherwise, yeah. he would not yeah. have said that. Yeah. <laughs> he might have been here tonight. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. But uh, yeah, Billy Talent. Adam? Great, great show. Be a complete dick and one up Spencer here. Uh, Fred Penner, Vanier Park. Oh, there you go. Five. There you oh, go. Oh. Three years old. Nice. Three Fred years Penner. old, what? First That's real concert. He schooled you, dude. Yeah, he did. real concert, uh, uh, Chilliwack at John Lawson Park. Okay. 2005. All right, so you you remembered well enough that, like. Absolutely. It, I it, shook it, Bill Hedgerson's hand. Yeah, Very nice. Happy. Right, like straight up icon of the of the arts. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, man. That's great. That's a great story. And how about you, Bradley? What was your first concert you went to, and like, what do you specifically remember about that day? Can anyone guess? <laughs> well, pro probably that. But what stands out though? 2009. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Black Eyes Tour. We got Sea Fox Seats. I remember that, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I remember Malcolm Young was like, from here to the fucking, from uh, Banana Man over there. Sure, yeah, we're yeah. talking feet here at this oh, point, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was super close and fucking really loud. And, yeah, and just was, crushing so, and uh, being... ACDC-ish. Like yeah, being uh, him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that fucking exploded when uh, they came on the stage. And, yeah. Yeah, I think I was... Yeah. Grade four? <laughs> you were grade four? Awesome. Yeah, I, I was great. there. You were at that? Dude, I was I, 19 I and I got kicked was, out. You were I 19. definitely <laughs> was at that show. I was nine. Spencer's dating himself awesome. right now. Oh, <laughs> nine. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. No, we went and the whole crowd stood up the That's whole night, so I stood on the chair so I could see. Yeah. Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, I bet. Like, oh my God, what a first show to see. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, we'll tr transition to the next. What do you What are you thinking now? I know you had a little bit of a game plan prior, but like, what are you thinking? Honestly, you guys are all so cool and so so chill to just come and hang out, and even though given the circumstances, we're just gonna run through the set that we had, and we're just gonna do what we're doing. And I hope you guys just nice. enjoy nice. hanging. Nice, nice. Are having a good time. Yeah, hell and, yeah, yeah. And if you really want to see us on on. Uh, all, all four cylinders or five cylinders, because Adam will be playing keys with us like uh, December December sixteenth yeah. at the Hard Rock Casino. We'll, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be a, a big theater, and you'll see us at our optimal. Yep. Uh, at our optimalisticness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we we great. hear you. 
That and a, and a past uh, podcast sponsor. When I initially launched in 2015, the Hard Rock Casino was the initial title sponsor. Really? The podcast is brought to you by yeah, Hard Rock. Yeah. There you go. Out, out, yeah, I love okay. those guys, man. Hard Rock for sure. Sick. Hit it. Okay, so yeah. it does yeah. all work out because. Oh no, there's a yeah. lot of synergy going on here tonight, yeah. man. Absolutely, yeah. for oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Yep. Han Solo. Yeah, I'm gonna that's play right. Soft rock Fucking for you Captain now. Solo, you bro, would work this hard for like Mister. Uh, hey, and, and you know what? Anybody on the podcast that's listening in right now doesn't know that this man Todd is wearing a full Han Solo costume jacket. Like, Reversible with uh, Chewbacca, by hey, the way. What? If I wanted to hit Chewbacca, Chewbacca. No Whoa. way. Hello. Hey, you must be. I am so roasting. You should have switched on the break. Hey, that was what, what's sick. that planet that he's on? This is planet Hoth. Hoth. This, is Hoth. this is a Hoth. This is a Hoth solo. jacket. Yeah, so yeah. this is a Hoth. <laughs> yep, Hoth. Indeed. Yeah. And I'm drinking a lot, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you and me both. Look at my stash I got going on down here. That's shameful, dude. I think that's what I was trying to say. Like, we need more drinks up here. Yeah. Or do we? <laughs> or that. I don't. Yeah. yeah I love you, boys. It'll Thanks be, for playing this tonight, man. Hey. What a what a what a fun night it's turned out to be, right? Yeah. It's, uh, let's do it. Okay. This one's called Mr. Tied Down. One of the uh, yeah. one of the oldies. Nice. Nice. An oldie, but a a a newy version tonight. All right. Okay. What?
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed. Yeah, it feels like you guys have found a bit of a, a, of a groove, right? Man, like Adam, you're sinking into that one. Yeah, right? He is. Yeah. I mean, regardless of the situation, it, the, it doesn't matter the, the musician that's playing. Sometimes, it, even if there's like all these gold, quote unquote, musicians playing, it doesn't mean that it's always going to work, right? Like, sometimes Very that's true. just the way shit happens. But you guys feel like you're really in that. Now we're having you know? fun. Yeah, man, you guys are really. It's all having, because of you guys. You guys are really having a good time. Yeah. And you can see that, like, dude, it's fucking really cool, man. What we got going on here is pretty cool. Thank you. So, um, yeah, keep it going, man. I mean, I don't want right. to, like, restrict the shit. Like, if you guys got some songs to play, like, let's... let's I believe that's called constipation. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I'm not getting paid for that, so, uh, you know, hit it. All right. I love it. Like, what you let's, guys are doing tonight... Let's not have that in here. What you guys are doing tonight is fucking pretty cool, man. I, I, you know, I feel lucky to be part of it. Hey, tonight. thanks, Todd. Thanks for steering this ship. Everybody give Todd a fucking... No, not yeah, all, let's not all. Yeah. It's about the band. It's yeah. about the band. No way, man. Do follow on social media, Toddcast Podcast, Spendo Music. Yeah, everybody like, pull out their phones right now. Like, we, we get it. We all need to be, oh, like, on. shown some love. But, give like, Todd a follow. ultimately, it's about these guys, and I fucking love these guys. So Thanks, Todd. Hit these guys more than me, man. Feelings it's, mutual. Follow me if you want, but, like, it's about these guys tonight. So Thanks, Todd. I love you, boys. Love, Love you too. too, Todd. This song is called Never Know, and it's about not knowing. Not knowing the never know. And that's true. The never known. <laughs> I'm not high enough. I need to go smoke another spliff. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just cut that part out of this. The, the, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know what I was talking about. Oh, uh, Trevor would have loved that joke, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs>
Thanks. Thank you. Well done. Well played. It's a, I think that's one of our newest, actually, yeah. It's a great song. You know, when I, when I, in my mind, as I'm thinking, like, how are we going to make, you know, this night uh, a success? And, like, how are we going to drive never know. it forward and stuff? You never know, right? Because I had, I had envisioned asking you guys, how do you put together the songs that you're doing? Trickier when the drummer's not there. But like really cool to hear that this is one of the latest songs that you've been working on. And like what is it about that song that now that we've heard it, so how does that come to the table? Is it somebody brings a really cool riff or you've got a great idea for uh, the song and the structure? Like how does how does that song work now that we've heard it? <laughs> uh, honestly that one kinda came as um I think like a lot of songs. Sorry, talking to the mic. Um, that one kind of came as a like a lot of songs. Um, you just you never know. So um, sure, a great line is uh, with songwriting, and this goes for any type of hobby any of you guys have, uh, whether it's sewing to painting to um, sculpting, whatever it is, um, reading. Uh, unless you you have the rod in the water, you can't catch a fish. Sure. And so... You miss um, all the shots you don't take. Yeah, and so the biggest thing with anybody that owns a guitar, if you have it in its case, that's the worst thing you can do. Sure. Because it's out of sight, it's out of like mind, a, and you're like not going to touch it. Like at least stand it up. Yeah. You yeah. can see it, maybe you grab it, and you like mess around every once in a while. Exactly. And so like what I, my philosophy has always been is like leave multiple guitars in your way. Right. All the time. In your way. So, like, sure. I have a guitar on the couch, and I have a guitar on my bed, and, like, so I have to move it to yeah. go to bed, or I have to move it to, go to sit the on the couch. Or, yeah. yeah, or sure. whatever. Sure. I might be exaggerating a little bit, yeah. but... No, uh, we hear you, though. More yeah. or less, that just kind of came from, like, I just was ringing an E chord, and then adding the thingamajig, and then... It, yeah. Which is, uh, you know... Uh, what is it, uh, Mr. Technical? Oh. Whatever. You know. No, we'll call it a thingamajig yeah, till we yeah. move on. Yeah. Thingamajig works for now. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, the six. six. Right. Uh, so yeah, I was doing an E chord, adding the six because I knew that. Right. Of course, because that's of my friend here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but anyway, it just kind of came to, and um, that song wrote itself in more or less an evening. Right, and and sometimes it just happens like that. It's not like you're arduously trying to get this thing to come and happen it just it just kind of happened sometimes songs just happen yeah and it's yeah. usually with whatever like placement hold in my life something's going on or like i bet i bet there's a, a serious song coming from tonight <laughs> with all this drama and stuff that's going on but i was um, going to ask you to actually write a song tonight but uh, whatever you know if you don't want to try that it's called trump fine. drummer yeah. bummer <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, 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 swinging a miss. Wow, not bad. Not well, bad. That's good. It's we can work good. with that. It's pretty good, yeah. Drummer bummer. I like well, it. Well, it's a you start. Like a, you know what? I, we should probably wrap it up with a couple songs. I'm thinking we, we've been we've been at this for a little while now, and everybody's you know got a night to go. We're not we're not trying to eat everybody's you know time tonight, but uh, ultimately, thank you for sticking around and hanging out. Absolutely, with us. thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. we're thank trying you. to make it worth thank the while, right? So. You guys rock. But we think we can probably get a couple more songs out of you yeah, guys, yeah, right? Absolutely. Today? We, yeah, absolutely. We yeah. got, to, we yeah. got a, at least a couple more. So, But you know what? Yeah. Uh, how about I wrap it up? You guys do what you want to do, and I, I'm just going to hang and watch every, with everybody else. And uh, What else are you going to do? You're just going to sit there. You might as well have a mic. Well, I'm going to look good, first <laughs> off. For yeah. Sure, as for sure, I know. Sure. Captain Solo, probably going to grab a drink, but uh, ultimately, you guys wrap it up, man. Well, whatever, whatever you guys okay. want to do, I'll you know come and thank everybody and whatever, but yeah. ultimately, man, what a what a cool night, man! What a cool night to, you know, for what we had envisioned Wild. to what we're doing tonight is incredible, man. And really yeah, cool. and thank it you is. so much for sticking around, guys. Right we, we we do have a couple more, so yeah, right on. It's, Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Todd. Um, why don't why don't why don't we uh, why don't we give give them one that they can sing along to? Let's do it. Okay. This was actually written the same way that you were just uh, asking. It, Kind of just came in an evening, and uh, and by the way, so yeah, it was written on a couch, but it's nothing until I bring it into the room with these guys, and then it becomes something. Right. 
as and, with and, any of and, my ideas or any of our ideas is it's just an idea until you bring it into the room and then it becomes a song right and how and cool is it you can rely on the guys you're working with to pull this that's out. when you know that's yeah. when you know that sure. it's there's something there because it came together within two takes and this one came together, I can tell you, this is the only time, I think, that we ever played, like, once. It just, wow. we all yeah, just kind like of, jam. Yeah. we kind of just jammed this, and it's to this day, this. So, uh, this is the first time he's done it. Yeah. <laughs> not exactly that. So, it, it's not quite this, but, but yeah. But you know when to come in? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love All right. It. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, beautiful. 
painful first try. Come on, let's give it a try. Let's say hello without saying goodbye. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to turn the mic this way. It's about right here. This is the scene, the indie scene in Vancouver. That's amazing because that's not planned. To Emily that's Malloy. yeah, <laughs> Emily Malloy is just jumping in on that one. Not a plan that that's happening. Emily, Emily Malloy, by the way, could easily do one of these shows in the new year. Oh, and I think she should. I freaking Cause, hope so. Cause, and I will come. Because the the Blue Light Studio has asked me to do shows into 2020, 40, uh, 2020, 2024. And that's a so, big deal. Congrats which is a on fucking that. fucking big deal. Congrats so on that. So essentially man. for the next you know, year and a bit, we're doing shows the last Saturday usually of the month. So 2042 would be amazing. I'll have to talk to them about that specifically, but... Uh, that is incredible. 2024 is, is pretty amazing. And anybody that... Uh, that follows us, give Todd a follow. This man worked with Sea Fox for 14 years. He's got the coolest stories and the connections. It's incredible. Indeed, man. I feel I feel the same way. Like anybody that's following me, if they're not following Spendo Music on Twitter and and what are you on Instagram? Same thing on Instagram. Everything. Yeah, All Spendo that Music. That's amazing. It's almost like uh, branding. Amazing how that works. Branding. It's Bra a thing. Branding. <laughs> it totally is a thing. It's funny how that works. And, and so and so you wanna hit Adam for a sec? Let's shout out Waz. He, he's like, oh no, 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 we're all good. Yeah, we, you you reach out everybody through Spendo yeah, and, music, and, and Waznik and Solitaire on Spotify or Apple Music or Instagram. If you ever want to have a He's, fucking dance party, that's what you have. Yeah, yeah. Adam's Waznik. got the shit. <laughs> I, seriously, go guys. check out. Go that's, check out Adam Waznik. It's Waznik on, on uh, Waznik or Solitaire. There it is. Um, right, last, uh, last song. What do you guys want to wrap it up with tonight? We'll... Uh, how about we do a little Fleetwood Mac? You guys all cool with that? Yes, yes, and yes. Yeah? What is it about a really good cover song, and how do you guys come up with the songs you play oh, for covers? Shit. Yeah. Like, how, like cover straight, like, yeah, right? Like, how, how crazy is it when you guys are like, oh, let's do this Touchy song? Subject. Well, that's yeah. hard, man. Cover songs is the weakest point in this band because we have so many different, uh, like, we, we idol so many different bands that right. trying to, like, one of my favorite songs might be one of Brad's least. 
one of like, Brad's, like Brad's favorite like, Brad's like, least, whoa, I never or, heard of that song. Like, or like, what? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just like, okay, so we kind of got to all meet in the middle. And so, I mean, who doesn't like Fleetwood Mac? Right, especially that, yeah. that album. Like, yeah. what? Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. So, uh... Hey, Coy, it's for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> This one's for the ladies. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Oh boy. All right. Let's have it. Let, let's, uh, let's do it. Thanks again for sticking around, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.
Like, how, how does that feel? Even though it's not, look, you didn't write that song, but how it incredible beautiful. is like, yeah, man, that's that something beautiful. else. Like, and oh both my God. parts. Both parts. Yeah. Right. It's like you guys knew what to do. Right? <laughs> we know. We know what's going on. All right, one last song, I think. Maybe wrap it up and uh, and thank, of course, everybody for coming out tonight, supporting the Toddcast and with Blue Light Studio here in East Vancouver, Blue Light Sessions, which is more than just me. They do more than just what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah. Their their partner down in uh, in in Gastown is a place called Second Floor, which is above like the I think it's a water cafe, uh, 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 across from the uh, the steam clock there. Like the Water Street Cafe, exactly. The the uh, above the second floor is really cool as well. So yeah, thank you for coming on supporting the arts here in Vancouver. Yes, and, thank you. Uh, and I guess one last song. We'll wrap it up. And you know, thank thanks you. to Spendo for supporting the arts as well, of course. And have a great song. Thank you, Todd. And, yeah, man, right on. Appreciate, you, boys. All right, we'll wrap it up with our latest single. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This man right here in the Spendo shirt, uh, if, you, if you have seen the, uh, the music video for Easy to Live, this man Fred here, uh, he lent us the badass Camaro that is in the music video. So He came out tonight and he actually made us some really cool mugs with a screenshot of his Camaro on the mug. So... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's super, super, super cool. Very Thanks, Fred. Cool. Love you, Fred. Yeah. Great. Love it. Great story. So, uh, yeah. This one's called Easy to Lie. Okay, how are we going to start that? You just want to just rock it? Just do that, right? How are we going to start it? Do I want to just start it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That sounds All good. All right. One, two, three. <laughs>
one more if you're into it but otherwise what a what a crazy night man to really wrap <laughs> things funny. out like absolutely crazy so, night. you're right absolutely crazy oh my night. God, crazy. never yeah. gonna be yeah one more i feel like it's gonna be like i'm gonna get an uproar over here you want another one you i guys, think we should you're, right one more you're not sick of us you don't want to get out of you. this little claustrophobic room okay we're not sick of you man <laughs> Yeah, that thing's deadly. The are so dead. Adam's like, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm fucking going. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the beat ready. All right, we'll play one more for you, and then, uh, yeah. Right, we'll wrap it up. One more voice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming, supporting the podcast. The, of course, the band here tonight, Spando, the Arts in Vancouver, with, uh, you know, everybody's had a good night tonight? We'll wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Blue Light right Studio up. here in East Vancouver. We'll do it again the last Saturday of the month. That's where you'll find the podcast. Guys, thanks for coming out. Thank you, Todd. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Follow along on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Find us at Toddcast Podcast. Contained herein are the heresies of Radolf Buntwine. Erstwhile monk turned traveling medical investigator. Join me as I uncover the blasphemous truth of a plague-ridden world, that ours is not a loving God, and we are not its favored children. The Heresies of Radolf Buntwine, coming January 2nd, wherever podcasts are available.